you mentioned on the special that you used to work at LAX. What did you do at LAX? So I worked in the baggage service office, <laughs> a place where I developed very thick skin because mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, nobody comes in there happy right? ever. Like if somebody is coming in the baggage office, it's because they don't have their bag. Right. <laughs> like that's bottom line. Um, so yeah, so I used to work a lot of overnights there. It was, yeah, I, I could probably write a book about that life. I've had so many lives. I also worked at the Laugh Factory. I don't know if you, if that came out in the interview or not. I don't think it did. It what What did you do there? So I worked in the offices with Jamie Masada. And then he had me um, at some point hosting as well in the club. But yeah, he's that was like my first um, first club I've ever been into, like a comedy club proper, right. and just really my first taste of everything. And the time that I was working there, I got to see um, Rodney Dangerfield before he died. So wow. that was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he obliterated the room. He came in in like a robe and mm-hmm. it looked like pajamas. <laughs> so I, and his hand, huh? I think I was, well, he might've done that more than once, but I saw him at the Laugh Factory not long before he died. And he, he literally was in a like ba- like pajamas and it was creepy. Yes. It was like, it was like, it, like being in, I was near the front and I was like, I'm not sure I might see something I want to see right now. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, it was crazy. But really, when you worked there, was it, and you were in the office with Jamie at the Laugh Factory, was it a lot of you saying, hey, Jamie, Dane Cook, line one. Jamie, <laughs> Dane Cook, line two. Jamie, Dane Cook's on the to, phone. Yeah, he, he used to call Aisha mm-hmm. Tyler. Um, do you remember Bob Marley? Sure. Yeah. Just, that used to freak me out because I was like, his name is Bob Marley and he's white and Canadian. You know, like yeah. I used to really get like confused it, over uh, that. That should have been a name change. I think that Bob should have changed his name because every he would walk. Please walk in Bob Marley. He walks out and like, oh boy, disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then he would talk about the weather in Maine for four hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, that would be. Uh, it's like, funny. I got to talk to Butch Bradley the other day oh too God. because he he remembers me from you know working there and stuff. And, you know, he was just blown away by, you know, the full circle moment of how I ended up, you know, doing stand up. And he right, was like, right. you were an imposter the whole time. That's got, what he told me. <laughs> I haven't heard the name Butch Bradley forever. Is Butch still doing comedy? That's I don't mean. To yeah, he's, in, he's doing a residency um, at the Stratosphere in Vegas. Oh, wow. Good for him. Nice young man. Yeah. He's not young anymore. He was young when I knew him. That could, uh, oh, look at this 20-year-old. Good for him doing stand-up. He's probably 45 years old now. Um, Kimberly, what what airline did you work for at LAX? I worked for America West Airlines, or as the customers would say, this is America's worst airline. I'm like, we, we've heard that joke a thousand times. Of course. Get creative. <laughs> <laughs> To hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, or visit NeverNotFunny.com.